hello and welcome to this video in this video we'll see if your css background image is lo not loading how we can fix this this is one of the most annoying issue if you are a beginner and started to learn html and css so i hope this video will help i will try to explain it in details so if that helps after watching the video please smash the like button and let me know in the comment as well if that helps you so I have a index.html file in my Visual Studio code. So one thing I will also suggest you is to use Visual Studio code. So this is a very smart code editor if you are using Notepad, Sublime, something like that. I will just suggest you to shift to Visual Studio code because this is the most amazing code editor you can ever use. Okay, so. This is not a fact just try to see what i am going to explain in this way so first of all make sure your css file is linked properly what that mean is if you are having a css file and you just need to be remember that you should link it properly so suppose i have this file so you can see this is my h1 tag so if I show you, this is the output I am seeing, CSS tutorial with H1, right? So if you are having a H1, it should be there. Okay, so suppose I have just targeted this H1 and I will just give it a color of red to see if my CSS styling is working. So you can see that the text is now turned to red. So another things I will show you is if my, if my, was not right what could be there so what some beginner do mistake is when they linking it like if you see that it is name is href style.css so this is my style.css file so if for some reason you misspell it like styles.css so when i will refresh it you will see that the style file red becomes black in default so if I just correct it again with style.css, you will see that the changes immediately take place because my file name is correct right now. So please make sure that you are linking your file in proper way. Okay, so this is my folder structure. I have index.html, style.css as well. So let's go to the background image thing. So I wanted to add a background image in this area in the body area okay so i will just target the body target the body and give it a background image and what the property for background image url if you remember then a fast bracket and then quotation mark and then the image file name so if you have a image in your root folder what means the root folder where the html style.css file is so I have an image in that case as well in the same folder. You can see style.css index.html and image.jpg. So I wanted to add the image.jpg. Just write image.jpg. So you will see that the image has been already added as you can see. The image is showing properly the background image. You can put the other property as well. Try to put the height as well. Some case height is also will help to show you the background image okay then another thing is if you have a image in a, another folder like in this one in this one i have a i made another separate folder with the name of images and i have put another image here so if for some reason i wanted to add the image inside the folder what i need to do is I, if you just write down, you can see there is a folder called images. And if I just put the this image name like folder.jpg, then what you will see that this is also, this is also what? This is also working. This is also working. So let me put a separate image here to show you that it is working. So now I have added another image, this image in the same folder to show you that it is also working. So if we see that where our folder is having is in the url so this is our style.css file and we have a folder here what is its name its name is images so we should give images the folder name then we should give a forward slash and then you can see that my image name is appearing 
So its name is 20.png. So make sure your extension name is also similar. What is your image having? Okay. You should have .png, .jpg should have been same unless your image will not load. So make sure your have the same. So you can see the image has already loaded. I can give it a height always make sure to give it a height like 100 bh and there is other property like background size background image you can find it in w3 school if you go there you will find all the property for background you can see so just check those out and just try those so you can see that it is also working another thing the beginner makes mistakes with the naming of the images file so if you are naming with the file with you can see I have an image with the name of download bracket 8.jpg. So please make sure don't name your image file with bracket. Okay, with a star, something like that. Don't do this. Try to make your image file like image.jpg or image underscore my profile.jpg something like that please try to avoid space try to avoid bracket star those things in the image file name so let me show you why this is not good so if i have a file name like this like download 8 you can see it is download and have a space as well so let me show you if i add this as a background image so I will, I will remove the images. So you can see there is download, then forward slash, forward slash 8, it is showing. But what beginners will do, they think that I should edit how the files is named. So he will see, he will add like that, download 8.jpg, but this will not work. So you can see I have added the proper file name, download 8.jpg, but it will not load. How it will load? When you grab bracket, it makes the things complicated. As you can see, it should be named like that. Backward slash 8 ATC like that. Then the image will be loaded. If you now refresh. <coughs> refresh the page. Okay. You can see the, with, the, with the forward slash, the naming is confusing. And it is also not loading. So please make sure your image file is not named with bracket or something like that. It will not work. Try to make the image name like that. So let me add the other image like image my profile.jpg. So let me add that. Let us refresh. So it is making some issue here. You can see the image is already added. So don't make your image file with bracket etc. Another thing is if you have a separate CSS file, let's let's do that as well. If you have a separate CSS file like this. Okay, so let me put this again here. So now I have a separate folder for CSS. So what will happen in that case if you come there then my style has gone. The heading one was red, but it is not working. So the thing here is when I we did the href, it was in the root folder as like HTML. But in that case, it is under a CSS folder, then style.css. If I refresh now, you can see that my style.css is working. Okay. Then in that case, what will happen? Just go to style file and open it. Now, if you want to add an image, now you can see that my image is not working. So, in that case, what I need to do is, I will have to put a dot, then put a, I will have to put a double dot, then put a backward slash, forward slash, then I should put my image name. In that case, I wanted to put image my underscore folder dot jpg, then click save. Then you can see the image is loading. So, if you are making a separate folder your CSS file, then you have to put two double dot to exit from the folder and come to the root folder and edit. Or if you want to add now the image inside the images folder, just put two folder then forward slash, then give the folder name. In that case, our folder name is images. 
then we will give another forward slash then give the picture name like this is our picture 20 dot jpg and what i said to use visual studio could because it is very very smart so you can see it is suggesting me automatically so if you are no using notepad this will not happen so just select it and click save now you can see the image is also changed so these are the things to be considered first of all make sure your image folder is, is your css is linked properly then make sure your picture name is perfectly named don't name your fold images with brackets please don't do this unless your images will not work make your image image name like this image underscore my one or testimonial one something like this don't make your image name with bracket remember this and if you are a, have the image in folder try to add them with the folder name and make sure your extension remains the same if you made the Im css in a separate folder try to add them with these folder names and then try to give two dots and forward slash to come back from the folder and rename at the image name so these are the possible solution if your css file is not showing so i hope i just try to make the tutorial long to explain those things in detail so i hope those helps if this helps please smash the like button and let me know in the comment as well and thank you very much for watching the video